spot. You know, the I told you earlier the Synecococcus and Prochlorococcus, so those kind of plankton, so the diversity using the DNA barcodes and biodiversity of algae using DNA barcode. So that is what I'm planning. So now I'll simply summarize what I found here in this stay in Bharati, right? So this is, uh, you know, kelp, that is laminaria, that is actually first report from Antarctica. So I'm quite impressed with that, what the specimen I got. So I hope I can actually uh, do the DNA barcode as well. So this is Chlamydomonas nivalis, that is actually the pink snow algae. This is not first time report, there are a lot of reports here, but this particular species is known to cause melting, the glacial melting. So, you know, if this particular species blooms a, a big area, albedo effects is gone, there is no white, it becomes pink, and more than that, it actually melts the water. And mesotonium, that is actually first report from the Larsman Hills, that is actually the brown ice algae. Praseola crispa again from Larsman Hills, there is no such report. Uh, there, is, there is a, a, a terrestrial greens algae. Then Schistidium antarctici, this is an endemic algae of, I um, mean, endemic moss of Antarctica. And this particular thing, very interesting story, that is actually, it's found only in the penguin rookery, so because it needs the nitrogen. There are a lot of studies on that, I'm not elaborating, but this is a, we have found that one. And very interestingly, Prinzia. Prinzia is, uh, uh, you know, orange colored terrestrial algae that we found here in this particular region. So could be, very well could be a new species, we need to work more on it. Dervilia, which is a brown algae, and Calophyllis, which is a red algae, which we found here in a different number of islands here. And this is very interesting uh, thing. You know, when I first went there, I, I was astonished to see many of these lakes in, uh, you know, in the uh, in these islands, they have got froth. You know, like Yamuna River, if you have been to Delhi, a lot of froth there, right? It's not polluted at all. Then why this froth is? Then the next day when I went there, I saw something flying. You know, then I took that flying, what is being flown? It is nothing but the froth. Froth is flying around. This froth, you know, it actually condenses into this kind of yellowish form, which has a high buoyancy on the air. It actually flies around. Then I, I look under the microscope and I actually find that this is contains some spore. This is nothing but a spore dispersal mechanism. It is well known. It's a it's something called Phaseocystis antarctica. Phaseocystis is an algae that is actually from, uh, you know, the, the spore dispersal is through the spores. But the beauty is that this particular species is found earlier only in sea, only in marine environment. This is actually freshwater lake, PPT zero. So it might not be Antarctica, but it might be well be a new species, which we don't know. We have to work on it. So normally I send my stories to my wife. So when I send this story to my wife through email, she shared very interesting caught from uh, Polo Colo. The simple things are also most extraordinary things. And only wife can see them. No, she is praising me, but anyway. <laughs> you know, it's very interesting. Simple things, you know, it's, you know, we often overlook these simple things. So there might be some stories behind these simple things as well. So uh, other than that, I'm also uh, working on a lot of science education and popularization. This is a resonance magazine from Indian Academy of Science, very high standard science reporter. So I write a lot of popular science articles for that, you know, it's for the general paper. So, you know, my friends, please go and check it out, these things. I have a website also, you can search on my name, Felix Bast, <coughs> in Google, the first hit is my website. So all this interesting stuff, I put that for the general public. You know, these are all outreach program, right? So I keep on transcribing. I also write in Malayalam, you know, <laughs> Lima can read, Eureka, Shastragati. These are Malayalam magazines. You know, I write it even in Malayalam now. So these are again, these are all popular science. So these two books I published again. The